Climate policy is again a key focus this election with a coalition leaning into balancing emissions reductions with regaining economic ground and Labor promising an affordable renewable shift. But an independent candidate's pitching a different approach to leave the goal setting with the people rather than politicians. An ambitious pitch to overcome an impasse on climate action. We've seen for decades now bitter partisan politics that has really prevented our parliament from moving forward. It's a key pillar of Kim Rubenstein's campaign as it is for fellow Climate 200 backed independent David Pocock. The Senate hopeful posing a climate compact approach for a secretariat to be appointed to take the goal setting to the community. That would ensure that those agreements are made and then taken back into Parliament so that by the next budget we have legislation implementing those commitments. Working from a base of halving emissions by decades end, it could break the gridlock over reduction targets with Pacific security now a bigger focus for the coalition. Then Albanese was asked about this. He thought this issue was about he said it was a th only three things, climate change, climate change and climate change. And a promise of cleaner and cheaper energy underpinning Labor's election run. If you use that, to use that to power high value manufacturing, to make us more competitive. And it's not without precedent. The National Economic Summit was set up outside of Parliament and the 1983 Prices of Income Accord deliberated and brought into account everybody's needs to make sure that everyone felt safe moving forward. Still, it would need parliamentary consensus and the closest crossbench allies may be tough to convince. We need to bring the voices of the community into the political process, absolutely. I don't think we should be taking the parliament out of the decision making process. The Greens want to slash three quarters of Aussie emissions by 2030 but aren't discounting dissatisfaction with major parties. On the climate crisis, on political integrity, on fairness, on taxation properly and people are getting ready to break that duopoly. Sophie Lester, Win News.